giant fans of fun, it's Thad the Theme Park Giant, and I'm coming to you from the Theme Park Giant headquarters here in the Orlando area. Today, I wanted to make a video to show you how easy it is to get a virtual queue for both Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot and Tron Light Cycle Run at the Magic Kingdom. I hear a lot of people say they struggle with this, they're looking for tips, and then a lot of the tips I see are just not very scientific per se. It's a lot of just mash the refresh button from 658 until the queue appears and you get in it. I think there's a much easier way to do it and I can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna get a virtual queue if you use my system. I have not been shut out in months now uh, and I usually get in one of the first boarding groups of the day so you can get right on at rope drop. So follow along, let's have some fun, and let's get you those virtual cues that you're struggling to get. All right, so first things first, there's two things I use. First of all, I use an iPhone for this. Um, so if you use an Android, I can't specifically give you the details on how to do this. This is iPhone. but. The first thing we're going to use is this website. It is called time.is. I will put a link to this. I'll flash it up on the screen here. And I'll put a link in the description. This is based on the atomic clock. It is down to the millisecond. And a lot of like servers and things like that are pretty in sync with these. So my assumption has always been that Disney runs pretty much accurately with this. That's been pretty much proven out, so I like to use this as a guide so I know exactly when to hit that refresh button so I'm not just mashing and I might miss my like three to, three to four second window there where you have a chance to get the virtual queue. So, time.is. Now the other thing I do, these are the only two apps I have open. I have the My Disney Experience app with my stuff in it. The first thing we need to do we need to come into this virtual queue area, go to Epcot, and we're going to need to confirm our party. Now, I want to go to Epcot today. It's my birthday. I want to ride Guardians. I'm trying to get that sixth and final song I haven't heard, so we're going to get that today. Now I'm going to come in here and just confirm my party. No friends are in town to hang out with me, so it's just a solo trip today. How sad, but I digress. So, that is set up. Now, basically, what we're going to do, for now, we're a few minutes out. But, at around 6.59 and 30 seconds or so, I'll probably come back on here and I'll show you my little trick. Uh, now, one other thing you can do if you're at home or you have a laptop or another phone or an iPad, you could pull this up on that and then you don't have to do the little flip and that'll give you, you know, you can have it up on one screen and not have to worry about messing something up. Um, but yeah, you want that exact timing is the whole point of this. But we'll be back here in a couple minutes. And we're back. I wanted to show you one quick thing here before it gets down too close. But the other day I did have a weird issue where right when I, about 30 seconds before I checked my app and it had logged me out of the My Disney Experience app. So just make sure here, you know, at last minute that it did not do that to you because you're gonna. T it takes you know 15, 20 seconds to get back in here if you're quick. So I happened to catch it at the right time the other day and was able to still get. I think it was boarding group four for Tron. So. Now, at about 57 seconds, I'm gonna do the window flip thing over and just kind of get a mental clock here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there we go. See, I flip over about 57. I do a little two, three second countdown. I refresh, I get right in, and look at that. Uh, I went I went to Epcot yesterday. I had a couple things I was doing over there. I got boarding group four. I got boarding group seven today. I'm telling you folks, this is pretty much a foolproof plan. I can't remember the last time I didn't get one, 
and it works for Tron. I will have a Tron video as part of this from what, uh, the other day. Uh, that will include two just to show it works on both of them. And we are just about 15 seconds out here again. Oh shoot. It kicked me out of this. This is why I always make sure you're on top of things. And we're going to come back in here. Group four. So that was kind of sloppy just because it kicked me out of the app at the end. But as you saw, I switched over right at that 57 second mark and it takes you that like two or three seconds to kind of get over there and once you hit refresh you are in well giant fans of fun i hope you found that tip very useful because i think it's one of the more important tips you can get at disney world right now because that's such an important thing for people's vacations you don't want to have to buy a family of four a $20 lightning lane to ride Guardians or Tron. I mean, that adds up really fast. So I know there's a lot of anxiety over that 7 a.m. time frame, but I'm here to tell you, you don't need to fret. Just make sure you're monitoring that clock. Uh, switch over, you know, with a couple seconds left, keep that mental countdown and you're gonna be golden. I promise you. Uh, as you've seen, I'm getting in the first boarding groups of the day. Uh, even Tron. So it's not just Guardians, it's Tron. It works for both. Uh, so yeah, looks like I'm going to have a pretty great birthday. going to go ride Guardians. Fingers crossed I get that last song finally, cross it off my list. But if you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if it did help you. I appreciate you watching, and we're going to be putting more content out in the future. Thanks for watching.